Tell me what you think of. The first thing that comes to mind when you think of red and blue, Mally. Tens and units. My lesson is um, tens and units, basically dealing with place value, and this being important because the children are, must give a number a place value. What is the first thing we have to remember when we do tens and units? The sum. Tens of blue and units are red. Fantastic. When we start our sum, what do we remember? We have to start with um, Mr. Units. We start in the units column always. Pana, what's our next step? You check if if it's a um, you check the sign if it's a plus or minus. Okay, so what do we do when we do adding? We have to We must plus it. When we add, we carry the extras. And who do they go to when we carry them grade twos? Mr. Ten. When we're doing addition, we Carry. When we subtract and we don't have enough in Mr. Units column, who do we cry to, Raquel? Mr. T. Mr. T. And what do we have to do from Mr. T? Borrow. Right. Well done, boys and girls. We have to borrow. So when we subtract, we have to borrow. borrow. We associate the units also not only with the colour but also with the character. What did we have to remember about Mr. Unit? We remembered something about his character. Christian? You can't go for the knife. And what does that make him, Kaylin? Grumpy. Here you will see our Mr. Unit and he's a grumpy chap. What do you know about Mr. Ten? He's not grumpy. And why is he happy? Because? He always has the biggest number. It's far easier for the child to understand the biggest number that Mr. Unit is able to keep in his house is nine, because as soon as it becomes 10, then Mr. 10 takes the whole group of 10, and Mr. Unit's only left with the single units. When you see that horizontal sum on the board, what is my first step? I put the horizontal um, sum on the board, the children then put it into the vertical in the tens and units column and then do the and basic what addition. Do I use Raquel plus and Lite, what do I have to write underneath? We have to write a 12. Right, and now what do we do, Luke? We plus 2 and 1. Luke said we have to plus 1 and 2. Why is that incorrect, grade twos? We don't add 1 and 2 because we have to. I started off doing basic addition where the children could see that Mr. Unit was quite happy because he didn't have numbers that were bigger than nine. We're going to start at Mr. Unit's house. Okay, so explain as you go along what you're doing. You have to plus four and two. Well done. And four and two equals six. Clever girl. And whose house do we visit next? And what's your answer, Luanda? 36. And then we moved uh, to the more abstract where they actually had to carry over the numbers, and we did exactly the same. First, you're going to start at Mr. Unit's house. Well 8 done. plus 4 equals 12. But you, Mr. Unit can't have 12. So he sends the 10 to Mr. U to Mr. 10. Right, so put the 10 there so that you know. The one group of ten at Mr. Ten's house, correct? What does Mr. Unit get? Two. He gets the two, correct. And what you got to do in Mr. Ten's column? You have to plus the two and the one plus the extra one. Which will give you? Which will give you three. No. <gasps> no, four. <laughs> And we did exactly the same with the subtraction where they had to borrow. So we started with a basic subtraction where it was basic, uh, the number was big enough in Mr. Unit's house to be able to subtract the number underneath. And as soon as that number is too small to um, subtract the number underneath, then they had to visit Mr. 10 and beg on their knees to get a group of 10. No, so who do we cry to? Ten. Right, you go to Mr. Ten and you say, what do you say to Mr. Ten? Show them what you say to Mr. Ten. Cry and let's hear. Please, 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 Mr. Ten, please. 
and then Mr. 10 would uh, part with his group of 10 and they would be able to subtract the number, adding the, the group of 10 from Mr. 10 to the existing number. We go to Mr. 10 and we cross out the... Three. And what do we write there? Write what we put there. What's he, got, what's he left with? A two. Correct, he's left with a two. And he gives Mr. Unit... A one. One group of 10. Now what number have you got? 12. 12. And what have we got to do? 12 minus 8. Children were divided into um, academic groups where we do differentiated worksheets. The first group being my weakest group. I did uh, group activities on the mat to consolidate the concept that was taught of tens and units. Malik, what is 3 plus 5 plus 3? All of you work out the answer. 11. Write your tens and units and I want you to put 11 in the correct columns. You get, we're going to add the next number, so put a plus sign. And how many die have we got? Four. Four, right. Let's see what we've got. Three plus four is? Seven. Plus another three, Kaylin? Six. Ten, correct. And then what's the last number we've got, Pana? Six. So what's ten plus six, Pana? Um, Sixteen. So put your 16 in the correct column underneath. We've got 11 plus 16, and those are our two numbers we're going to add. Put your lines for your answer, please. 1 plus 6 equals 7. Fill it in 7. We've done Mr. Unit's house. Then who do we go to, Naledi? Mr. 10. What do you see in Mr. 10's house? A 1 and a 1. And what do you do then? You plus it. And what's the answer? 2. For my circle group, um, I made use of the base 10 set, which is a valuable um, concrete apparatus that I use. They had to write tens and units on their, their whiteboard and then fill in the appropriate number that was being built using the base 10 set. And how many groups of 10 is this? Pana? Four. Four groups of 10. So under your tens column, you have got a four. And if we count all of these little blocks, how many blocks have we got? 45. Right. This, this gives them a, a visual appreciation where they are actually able to work um, with the concrete apparatus and see the concrete apparatus and then be able to move from the concrete to the abstract when they have to deal with concepts that are slightly more difficult.